What is up people? Today we're going to be talking about fork offsets. I've been interested in fork offsets for a while. I've played with them uh, any opportunity I could get, but I thought it would be good to do it properly. So I teamed up with Olin's to test out all the different crown options for the DH38 from 44, 50, 54, and 58. I've ridden this fork uh, with these different crowns on a couple different bikes on a wide variety of terrain. It's been really interesting. I've learned a lot, so let's get into it. I'm not gonna attempt to describe what changing your fork offset does to the geometry of the steering and trail and all that. There's a bunch of different videos that do that way better than I'll ever be able to. In this video, I'm just gonna focus on the ride feel and how changing between these different crowns affects the handling of the bike from a rider's perspective. So the initial experiment that kind of got me interested in doing this test was Olin sent out this fork uh, to put on my Dreadnought uh, back when I was in New Zealand. I went from a 44 mil offset 38 single crown to this fork with a 54 mil offset. And besides having a dual crown fork on the bike, the biggest thing I noticed was that offset change. And on that bike specifically, I didn't like it. So it kind of had me scratching my head like why dual crown forks are usually specced with longer offsets and why a lot of the World Cup race guys choose to run the longer offset options in those forks. And I was able to partner with Olin's to get all these different crowns set out. And by that time I was on the Geometron G1 and I was able to play with all these different crowns in Whistler. I also ran this fork on the TR11. So when I initially started running this fork, I just put the 44 mil crown in because that's what I was coming off of with my single crown and through my past experience, that's kind of what I thought would be best. And then I started trying out the longer offset options and I went immediately to the 58 mil crown just to get the, the biggest difference. And I was actually surprised. On the Geometron, the longer offset, you know, maybe I didn't like it better, but I actually appreciated some of what it had to offer. And as I kind of tested out the options in between, the 50 and 54, I started to understand a little bit better what I think the trade-offs are with going to the longer offset fork. What I'm gonna try to describe is kind of like the overarching difference in steering characteristic as you get progressively longer and shorter. So with the short offset, I feel like what you gain is primarily front end grip. It brings that front wheel just a little closer to you. You know, in the conversation of front to rear center ratios, it just makes that ratio a little bit tighter. Um, so there's just more weight on the front wheel. It also tends to relax the steering. It's not as twitchy. Like the biggest thing I noticed, especially on the Dreadnought, was like riding ruts. On the longer offset, I just feel like it was more sensitive to like catching an edge and climbing up out of the rut. Um, so yeah, the short offset just feels relaxed, kind of easy to ride, but what I kind of miss or like what I noticed going to the longer offset options is there's kind of like a lack of turn in or I kind of refer to it as authority over the front wheel. So even though there's a bunch of front end grip, especially on the Geometron, like I was never really worried about the front end washing away from me, but I did get the sensation of like having trouble like turning the bike in and getting it to bite. In some corners, it's like kind of irrelevant and you can kind of let the bike lean and carve a natural line. But whenever I really wanted the bike to turn in more aggressively, it felt like I was just kind of fighting it and like I was kind of powerless to get that like bite on the front wheel to initiate off the front wheel. And I feel like you end up having to ride it in the way where you're more reliant on steering with the back end of the bike. It kind of allows you to do that because you have so much grip on the front wheel. Um, <clears throat> but there was that sensation that I was missing just to get that like front end bite and like turn and feel. And then going to the 58 mil offset that's what I gained immediately was like, it was more a more sensitive front end, but I actually liked being able to have that like authority over the front end to turn in. Um, and then what I also noticed is that 
as soon as I put that 50 mil, eight mil offset option on, I was like, dang, this feels more like a downhill bike. Just that classic feel of having that front wheel way far out in front of you. And I think I underestimated how much of a difference that made into like the slack feeling of the bike. And I feel like where it sacrificed a lot was in that all out front end traction. Kind of as I played with the other offsets, I feel like the 50 and 54 were like great happy mediums and it kind of depended on what you wanted out of the bike. So I think it's kind of hard to grasp like what I'm actually talking about here, but there's a specific example that I tested in Whistler. So if you guys are familiar with A-Line, it's the S corners in between the moon booter and I was taking this inside line on the first left-hander where I just set up and cut all the way inside and then hit the inside on the next corner. With the short offset, like no matter how hard I tried, I could not get the bike to like oversteer, like to break traction where you steer the front end too much and it starts to push out. Um, like I tried as hard as I could, you know, in the flat corner to like push into the bike and the front wheel just stuck to the ground. Um, and then I think I was on the 54 mil offset crown, but I did the same thing and I was like able to get the front wheel to like oversteer in that way and kind of break traction because I was able to turn the wheel too hard. That like whenever I get like a washout going to a longer offset fork, that's the manner in which I feel like it happens is I can turn in like too much and uh, the front wheel is like stuffing. Whereas the shorter offset option, it's like, yes, the front wheel has more grip. I get in less front washout situations, but I get this feeling where I'm kind of like stuck and I want to turn in the bike more. And even though it's gripping, like the front end is kind of running me wide and I struggle to find that authority to turn into that tighter line. So like, I feel like I can do tighter turns and get that steering feel, but at the same time, maybe I have to manage those front end washes a little more. But like, I appreciate the handling of those different setups in each of those situations. And honestly, I gravitated towards the 50 or 54 mil option. Um, I didn't think going all the way to the 44 for how that bike was set up was really appropriate. And I think this is like pretty bike setup specific. Like the Geometron, I was running a 457 chainstay. It was a 515-ish reach, which just put a massive amount of weight on the front wheel. You know, long chain stay, but also I was in such an aggressive position over the front that it's like I had front end grip to spare. So being that like the bike was set up in that way, going to the longer offsets, I don't feel like having less front end grip was as much of a burden. But say you have a bike with a short chain stay and you're struggling for front end grip already, I think it would make, a longer offset would make that problem much harder to deal with and a shorter offset is probably better suited. But if you have your bike set up in a way where you have a lot of grip on the front wheel and you can kind of just use fork offset as a tuning tool in my opinion to get the steering characteristic of the bike um, closer to what you want. You know my past experience kind of had me biased against longer offset forks but I think as I wrote it, I understood, I think, why people are still running these longer offsets. Looking back to my original experience with the Dreadnought, I think what, I, what made that 54 mil offset feel worse compared to my shorter offset single crown was that fork had a really light uh, damper tune in it with um, a really big negative air chamber. So the fork was riding really deep in its travel, no matter what I did to it. So I think that had a tendency to steepen the head angle. And then with the steepening of the head angle, it would kind of make the fork turn in a little bit. And then with the longer offset, it would like, 
exacerbate that turn in and make the front end grab and wash. But with this setup, I had a, I had a stock damper tune, the stock negative air spring volume, and the fork was much happier to hold up in its travel. So the fork wasn't sinking as much and it wasn't changing the geometry and it wasn't like tightening up the steering when I didn't want it to. And one thing that was kind of funny that I noticed going to the longer offsets and riding jump trails is that my scrubs were way better on the longer offset forks. And I think this plays into kind of exactly what I've been saying with like the turn in authority um, and the front end grip. It's like with the scrub on the longer offsets, it, feel like, it felt like I was able to really turn down the fork off the lip and get the front wheel to slide. And then I was able to slide the rear end following that. And it just felt way more natural to throw scrubs off jumps where I was actually like sliding off the lip a little bit with the shorter offset felt like that front wheel was just like under me more and it had more grip and like it was like i wasn't able to get it to like slide off the lip and it kind of was like a little scary or harder to manage it's like yes the shorter offset does have more front end grip but i don't think like the whole conversation is just about front end grip Maybe having a longer travel fork influences this so it makes more sense for downhill bikes. I think there's gotta be something there. And then it's tough to kind of like reconcile this with some of my other experiences too. Like I had a 27.5 uh, Pivot 5.5 back in the day and I went to a 37 mil fork on that from like a 44 or 42. I much preferred the 37, but that bike was also like fairly front end grip challenged. And then, you know, when the 29ers kind of made the switch from 51 to 44, 46, you know, I much preferred the shorter offsets on that. Um, but for whatever reason, on this bike, on this terrain, I think the, the 50 and 54 is made the most sense and kind of just like tuning it into like what type of steering characteristics you want from your bike. But let me know what you guys think. Um, have you guys tried different offsets? and do your experiences line up with what I'm talking about here? Um, yeah, let me know. Big thanks to Olin's for supporting this project, sending out all these different crown options. Yeah, was really stoked to get a chance to try them out. If you found this video valuable or entertaining, consider supporting on Patreon. You get these videos early and it's a great way to support the channel. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.